a deep freeze is creating some potentially dangerous conditions on the roads tonight. And with temperatures continuing to drop, it could get even worse. Jackie Sprague is live to begin our team coverage. Well, that's right. We're live here on Waterbury Drive in Moraine. You can see that this road doesn't appear like it's been touched by a plow. Take a look. You can see a layer of ice and snow caked on this street, and many secondary roads like this one throughout the Miami Valley look like this right now. And another round of winter weather is expected, and it could create even more dangerous driving conditions. All I can say is it's Ohio. You know, I love it. Trying to stay ahead of the next snowstorm. Drivers filled up their gas tanks tonight at the Sunoco on Springboro Pike and South Dixie Drive. It's really rough on the gas right now because I have a front wheel drive car, and with the roads being so slick, not much friction, it really burns a lot of gas. Not only is the winter weather rough on your car, but it can be on your body too. With the skin being exposed, if you don't have a hat or gloves or even a scarf, yes, it's terrible. That's why some people are planning to stay out of the cold. If you don't have to go out, then I advise just stay in the house, you know, cuddle up, watch a movie, stay cozy. But others are hitting the roads. Sarah's Pizza and Subs in West Alexandria is one of the few places open on this frigid night. Clinton Spittler is a delivery driver for the family-owned business. Driving a lot of pizzas. <laughs> that's, 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 that's where we make our money at, for sure. Spittler says a four-wheel drive vehicle is necessary on nights like these because blowing and drifting snow created dangerous driving conditions. Definitely on the back roads, there's a solid sheet of snow. Drive really, really slow. Probably about 20, 30 miles an hour, like max. Yeah, good night. And you can see most of this snow here is light and fluffy. So blowing or drifting snow could also be a problem tonight. Wind gusts are expected up to 30 miles per hour. Reporting live in Moraine, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you. And because of the